Let's set up the triple integral in this case. What we want to do is we want to find the region that we're integrating over. That'll be fine and dandy. Here I have some surface where z is inversely proportional to x. All right, great, sure. Um, not worried about that, worried about this. First thing you need to do in setting up these triple integrals is sketch your domain or the region that you're integrating over. So here we go. In our usual orientation, if this is x and this is y and this is z, tee I see I got x going from one, two, three, from one to three, all right. And my y is going from zero, one, two, and my z is going zero, one, two, three, four. So if I'm gonna draw this thing, I know my x's are in between zero and one. I'm gonna go out two and my y, or zero. My x's are in between one and three. I'm gonna go out two units in the y direction, two units in my y direction, and then I go up this far, bam, okay. So I go up four in my z, dashers, dashers. I go four in my z, four in my z, and looks like I have a nice, friendly, and convenient prism that I'm integrating over. So now I can set up my triple integral. These integrating over rectangles is really nice. Do you wanna go, do you wanna go Z, Y, X, X, Y, Z? It doesn't matter to me. Why don't we go X, Y, Z? DX, DY, DZ. Any order would be fine. But this first integral, goes with the x, so I need to put my limits on the x. My x is going from one, two, three, one to three. Okay, my y is going from zero, two, two, zero, two, two, nice. Um, and my z going from zero to four. I'm going from zero to four on my z axis. And you did. Thank you.